Hi, my name is Monika Kish, photographer in Hampshire, UK. Today I have a comparison video for you. I'm talking about the 160 and the 223 cm umbrella. I will talk about the differences, similarities with some behind the scenes video as well. So here they are. Both comes in a really nice carry bag. The only thing I'm missing from this is a shoulder strap to make it easy to carry. However, it's easy to store them. So they are very easy to set up as well, what I show you now. The umbrellas are huge size, but not too heavy. So make sure you have proper uh, accessories like a really good uh, light stand and adapter bracket as well. They are built very well with fiberglass frame, so they are fairly flexible, not the traditional metal frame which broken very easily, so these are much durable. Uh, as I mentioned, both umbrellas are very big, so that allows you to make a very beautiful, soft, natural looking light, which is great for newborn and maternity photography as well. The interior is white for both, however the 160cm umbrella comes with a silver version too. Now a few words about the differences. The most visible difference is in the shape. The 160cm has a perfect round shape until the 223cm is more like a large rectangular salt box. The round one looks more like a normal deep parabolic salt box with the diffuser on. The difference is where you put the, your light. In the umbrella your light hits the inside back of the umbrella which reflects back to the diffuser. Until when you use a softbox, the light hits directly the diffuser. As you can see, the 223cm umbrella has no diffuser, but because of the size and shape, creates the same soft, natural looking, beautiful light. has a very unique shape, not just rectangular, which is very unusual for an umbrella, but it's curved, uh, which gives you the feeling like wrapping or embracing the subject, especially when it's turned horizontally. You can set up vertically, shooting full-length portraits, great for maternity, or turn horizontally, shooting families or wedding groups. Another surprising but good characteristic for this umbrella, the black and silver back cover is removable and you can use as a shoot-through umbrella. So this is it and you have a really cool shoot-through umbrella. Another difference is in the catch light in the eye. If you don't prefer the perfect round shape white dot in the model's eye, you can avoid that with the rectangular shape. Now let's see a behind the scenes video about one of my maternity shoot. The gear I used for this shot is a 5D Mark IV with the 24 2.8 lens, Pixapro City 300 Pro and the black and white background also from Pixapro. First I used the white side of the backdrop and for every single shot I had the same camera settings. ISO 500, f6.3, shutter speed 180 of a second. This will help you to see the exact difference between the umbrellas, how they are reflecting and shaping the light. On the end of the shoot you will see all the photos side by side for a good comparison. The model is standing right at front of the background and I placed the light source about 1.5 meter away in a 45 degree angle. I took a full and a half body shot and a close up portrait. I used the 160 cm umbrella first with the diffuser on and then without. After then I used the 223 cm vertically and horizontally with the back cover on. 
On the end I did the same, just removed the back cover and I turned the umbrella to the model and I used as a shoot through modifier. After all, I turned the background and I did all the setups again just with different camera settings. ISO 640, f8 and shutter speed 180 of a second. Here are the final unedited shots to compare them. You can see that there is not much difference between the photos, all has a very nice soft light without any harsh shadow. However, you can see a very little change between the highlight and the shadows. Overall, both are great light modifier. If you have a small shooting area, my the rectangular can save some space for you when it's opened because it's not so wide and deep. But if you like to use round shape softboxes, definitely try the 160 cm umbrella. I personally like more the 160cm because I can control the light better with the diffuser on, not spreading the light everywhere, but I'm surprised how much I love shooting with the rectangular as well. I hope you like this video, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you, bye!